introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Professor Asan uh, who is not here. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to thank him for inviting me to this nice uh, conference. Uh, it, it is a very uh, a big pleasure for me uh, to, he to be here and give a talk. Uh, in this nice con at this nice conference. Okay, uh, this is uh, the oh, title of my uh, today's talk. And uh, main concern is the Boltzmann equation without grad angular cut off assumption. Uh, it, uh, the, uh, it is well known uh, that when uh, we remove grad angular cut off assumption, then the body, uh, the main part of Boltzmann equation with the Boltzmann collision operator, uh, it behaves like a, a fractional Laplacian. Okay, so that we can expect that Boltzmann equation has some smoothing effect on the solutions. And recently, I had the joint work with Yoshinori Morimoto from Kyoto University uh, on this subject. And we think we got something, uh, no, not a big result, but uh, we get some result on this uh, subject. And so I'd like to uh, talk uh, about this today. Uh, yeah. uh, first, uh, let me start uh, by explaining what is the smoothing effect. Uh, on, of the um, partial differential equation. I like to explain in, in this subject uh, by uh, using a elementary example of equations which has smoothing effect. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> So uh, let me start with the heat equation. Heat equation has nice, uh, smooth, uh, very elementary example of the equation which has a smoothing effect. The, you know, oh, this is a uh, heat equation. And uh, we know uh, the solution of this equation given in this form if we consider the Fourier transformation. And uh, looking at this solution formula, uh, we immediately conclude that at t equal to zero, uh, initial data u zero uh, may not be. Uh, uh, suppose that t at t equal to zero, uh, the initial data may not be a smooth function. It may uh, only be a uh, L two function. But uh, uh, if we look at this uh, solution formula, we see that as soon as t is become positive, the solution become a very smooth function. Uh, more precisely, solution is a function of Jubre class of uh, Jubre class g to one half of index one half. Yeah. Can you write some blackboard definition Jubre class? Okay. Uh, next slide gives uh, the definition. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I. The one before, the one after. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, I, I made a mistake to, to, to control. <laughs> OK. Uh, so the, uh, the, this is the definition of Jure class. OK. Uh, here, the original, no, the, the equivalent definition was OK. The most well known definition of Jure class is the third one, and uh, this one. OK. Uh, we consider uh, the uh, we consider C infinity function, and we uh, and we say that the function u uh, belongs to the Jubre class of index s if uh, the derivative of u uh, satisfy this uh, inequality for all order of the derivatives. Okay? And uh, uh, the definition, if we use the Fourier transformation, uh, 
uh, this definition is equivalent to this. And if we use the should differential operator uh, like this, then the, uh, the, this is also the equivalent uh, definition. And here I'm using the space L2. But the uh, definition of the Jubilee class is not unique. You, you can use any uh, function space uh, as you like. I, but of course, uh, according to the choice of the function space, we have uh, uh, different uh, classification of the C infinity. Okay, uh, Jubilee class is, uh, gives a, a classification of smoothness of the C infinity functions. Okay. And if we use uh, uh, different uh, function space in these defi definitions, then uh, we have some uh, different classification of uh, uh, in infinity function. But essentially, they are equivalent. Okay? For example, uh, here we are using L2 space. And, uh, for any, oh, and then we, we can still, uh, say that uh, the set of uh, the dual, uh, uh, Jubilee class GS uh, makes an uh, increasing sequence uh, of set of functions with increasing S. Uh, and uh, for S pi equal to infinity, it's almost like uh, C infinity, but not exactly. And if S is small uh, between 0 and 1, we say that the function S a uh, function u is ultra analytic function, which is more analytic than analytic function. Okay, and uh, if we use the definition um, of the Jubilee class with space instead of L2, for example, a sobre space or a C, uh, C zero space then S equal to 1 is just equal to the space of the analytic, the real analytic function. However, if we use the L2 or other spaces, then uh, the definition are a little bit different, but almost the same, okay? And, uh, okay, uh, this is the definition of Jubilee uh, class of index S. And if we uh, look at uh, the, uh, Solution formula of heat equation once again, which is given by this, then uh, you see that if T is positive, then uh, the solution belongs to uh, Jubilee class of order one half. Okay? So uh, this uh, ultra analytic function, which is more analytic than analytic function. Okay. And uh, so uh, we can easily see that the solution of heat equation uh, is uh, uh, a function belonging to Jubilee class of index S. Yes. However, uh, this, uh, this is smoothing effect. And uh, of course, we can expect that uh, smoothing effect uh, occurs not only for heat equation, but also uh, for general uh, parabolic equations, okay? And how, uh, indeed it is too, uh, it is a case, and we can prove that uh, uh, the smoothing effect of general uh, parabolic equation, uh, okay, uh, you, uh, using the energy estimate. Okay. The the energy method is a very popular method uh, used in the analysis of parabolic, uh, hyperbolic, uh, no, partial differential equation. Uh, here uh, we like to show that it works also for the proof of the uh, smoothing effect of the uh, uh, <coughs> partial differential equation. Uh, for simplicity, we again um, consider uh, the simple uh, heat equations. And uh, moreover, we consider only the case when the space dimension is equal to 1. And then this is the equation. And uh, I, you know, you, you have the uh, energy inequality like this, the very simple uh, equality obtained by integration by part uh, of the uh, heat equation. And uh, similarly, we can get 
higher order uh, energy in equality like this, we differentiate uh, heat equation uh, to the order J and uh, take the inner product of the uh, differentiated equation with uh, derivative of U of order J, then we have this inequality. Okay? And this is the uh, the equality are well known. And uh, here uh, we make the following transformation. We multiply uh, this equation uh, by uh, 2 times t to the power j over j prime. And then uh, we have this inequality. Okay? And uh, we integrate uh, this equality uh, with respect to t, time t, from 0 to t, uh, then we have the following. Uh, suppose that we have, uh, uh, we define uh, ij uh, by the integral like this. This is the integral, uh, dissipation integral of the uh, heat equation. This integral comes from this dissipation term, okay? Oh, uh, dt is missing, so very sorry. And uh, look at right-hand side. Uh, if we define the ij by this integral, then this is just ij minus 1, okay? And uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, okay, the, uh, this equality hold for any j, and so uh, we have an uh, inequality for the dissipation integral, ij, uh, which uh, is uh, smaller than or uh, uh, equal to ij minus 1. That means that this integral makes a uh, uh, decreasing function uh, degree in sequence of integral, okay? So uh, uh, this e energy in equality gives uh, the uh, recurrence formula for ij, and we solve this recurrence formula uh, backward uh, with respect to j, and uh, this goes to i0. And uh, uh, in this inequality, uh, this inequality uh, can be obtained uh, by integrating of this equation from 0 to t. And uh, we have no uh, initial uh, integral for this, this quantity because we have t here. So at t equal to 0, this disappears. So uh, no initial data uh, uh, come into this inequality. And uh, so we go back to, uh, 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 we solve backward this uh, recurrence formula to j equal to zero. Uh, here we have i zero. i zero can be obtained by the first in energy inequality. Okay? If we integrate this uh, usual energy inequality, uh, we, uh, the inter i zero is just the integral of this term. And uh, if we uh, integrate this uh, equality from 0 to t, we have uh, i0 uh, bounded by one half of u initial data u0 2. So uh, uh, this gives that ij uh, is bounded by one, uh, one half of the initial data. It's normal of initial data. Oh, we have this inequality. Okay. So, so then uh, this means that if we you, you combine the the the, the, the oh sorry okay. the last one come from the not just the, the one before that also the two equations. Right? The very difficult. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Uh, so I I like to go back. But how to go? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm busy. <sorry. laughs> oh, that work and now everything keep going because it's uh, yeah. Yeah. 
。ああ、いや。OK。あ、そう。<笑>はい。Uh, uh, it's very simple observation of the energy estimate, but uh, I think uh, it is very uh, useful、uh, for the, the proof is very simple, but very useful for, the,、uh, for other general parabolic、uh, equations.、Yeah. So, uh, this is, uh, the heat equation is.、Uh, An example of the、um, partial differential equation, which has smoothing effect. And you see that the smoothing effect of this、uh, heat equation comes from the Laplacian.、Okay? The, oh. okay. However, Laplacian is not necessarily necessary for, uh, uh, to get the smoothing effect of the partial differential. Uh, uh, One simple example is the c o l u m b g o l f type equation given here.、Okay. Uh, the original c o l u m b g o l f equation is this equation for the case of S equal to 1.、Okay. The, this was in,、uh, proposed a long time ago, 1932 or something like that. But,、uh, <coughs> Uh, here, uh, uh, the unknown is a function of t and x and b. x and b are independent variables. Here we divide,、uh, x and b are independent variables, but we、uh, make、uh, some distinction of notation in, in,、uh, <coughs> independent variables in order to, to show some characteristic.、Uh, uh, Nature of this equation.、Uh, one of the characteristics nature is that、uh, here you see、uh, we have a Laplacian for the variable b,、okay? the half of the independent variable. But for another part of independent variable x,、uh, we have no Laplacian at all. Instead, we have hyperbolic equation.、Okay? So,、uh, For B, we can expect a smoothing effect、okay, because of the Laplacian. But uh, uh, this, this is a hyperbolic operator in X, so that、uh, this operator uh, uh, has any smoothing effect at all by itself. However, if we combine this hyperbolic operator with the parabolic operator、uh, with respect to B, then we can have again the smoothing effect of the, uh, uh, for the solution, both in X and B. Actually, we can prove that.、Uh, suppose the initial data、uh, is in L2, then、uh, for T positive, the solution of this equation. Belongs to the、uh, Jubilee class of 1 over 2 times s.、Okay. Well, well, more、uh, precisely,、uh, we can prove that、uh, this、uh, should differential operator uh, uh, applied to u belong to L2.、Uh, u is a solution. And even if you、uh, multiply by this, but、uh, differential operator, it's still in L2 for positive t. Here you have t, here you have t. So if t is positive, then、uh, u is a very、uh, smooth function.、Okay. Or, uh, uh, we can write this、uh, relation、uh, in, term, uh, in this form, like this. Which shows explicitly that you belong to the Jubilee class of index 1 over 2s 
both in X and both in both uh, in both variables X and V. Okay, and uh, so your interest is in the regularity. So you don't care about T, the power T, right? We do not. Okay. However, uh, the power uh, of T are different for X and V. Okay. Okay. The uh, proof is rather simple, and the, we can solve um, uh, the Kolmogorov type equation explicitly if we uh, if we use the Fourier transformation. Okay, like this. In the Fourier transformation, uh, the our equation have the form like this. This is the simple uh, linear first order partial differential equation in Cauchy. Cauchy is the Fourier variable. Uh, correspond to velocity variable uh, B, okay? And we can solve this uh, equation immediately in this form, okay? And uh, uh, we can prove uh, this uh, estimate, and the very simple estimate, uh, but uh, uh, to my knowledge, I, I think it's new. <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe the, the, this result uh, can, uh, can be found elsewhere, but I have never seen this. So I like to uh, show this here. Uh, uh, th this is a very nice uh, inequality. Here we have uh, integral in t, uh, tau, here, okay. And uh, uh, this integral is bounded from below, uh, like this. And this bound, this exponential function, so that uh, we can prove. Uh, our, uh, we can see that our solution belongs to the Jubilee uh, class of uh, or index 1 over 2s, like this. Okay. So, uh, this is true for any and negative, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It holds, yeah. <laughs> so, so that I think oh. mm. wrong direction. Sorry, maybe I, I. Oh, now I understand how to. Okay, but uh, and. Uh, the point is that this inequality holds only in the presence of the integration in T. Okay. This, uh, without the integration in T, we cannot have this inequality at all. So uh, smoothing effect comes from the integration in T, too. OK, uh, so now. Uh, Oh no. Uh, let me go uh, to the bottom of my equation. The, my, uh, the main part of my talk, the, this is the bottom of my equation, you know. And uh, the uh, capital Q uh, is the uh, usual collision operator given by this. And, uh, okay. Uh, uh, this is the definition of the uh, collision operator. The, I think many people know uh, this. Many people in this form know, know this. And the point is, of course, uh, the uh, collision kernel B cross section. Okay. If uh, we do not If we do not adopt, uh, introduce the uh, cutoff assumption, then the, this, of, uh, this function has some singularity. Okay? Uh, uh, physically, you know, uh, this, this uh, function is determined by interaction, uh, interparticle interaction law. And uh, if we consider hard sphere model, then uh, this function is given in this form. 
And、uh, if we consider inverse power law potential, uh, which is given by this, then uh, we, uh, we have uh, the collision cross section in this form, like this. Here,、uh, capital Phi is a polynomial, or in,、uh, not polynomial, but、uh, some power of B minus B star, this gamma. And uh, uh, here, small b. Uh, has a singularity like this with respect to theta.、Uh, theta is uh, uh, an angle between k and sigma. Sigma is the integration、uh, variable. k is、uh, the direction of the relative velocity.、Uh, k. And the、uh, point is that, yeah,、uh, here we have very strong singularity in theta. And if we remember,、hmm? oh, sorry. I'm very sorry. Ah、uh, yeah, so we have singularity, and if we have singularity, very <laughs> no, I'm sorry.、Huh? If we have singularity in theta, then the, the here we have the integration. So this integral is not well defined. Okay.、Um. Okay. Let me see. Oh. Uh, what, what I shall <laughs> say. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, the collision cross section capital B has a form like this. We, if we consider inverse power law potential given by this. And you know.、Uh, mm, Okay. Uh, the c o l l i s i o n cross section d e p e n d on、uh, the power P、uh, of the inverse power potential.、Uh, if P is bigger than、uh, N plus T,、uh, we call that the potential is a harder potential. And if p equal to n plus 2, then we call it the Maxwellian potential. And、uh, p between 2 and n plus 2,、uh, soft potential. And p equal to 2,、uh, it just equal in the, the case、uh, of Coulomb potential. And、uh, as I told you before already,、mm. oh, yeah. Uh, we have the、uh, integral of singularity at theta equal to zero、uh, if s is positive. s is given by this. And p is the power to,、uh, of the inverse power of potential. So、uh, s is positive. And then、uh, we have a、uh, uh, strong singularity, an integ integrable singularity at all.、Oh, okay. And so、uh, it、uh, creates a very difficult uh, uh, <coughs> point on the collision operator. So, Grad introduced、uh, the angular cut off assumption like this. Then, if we、uh, use the assumption like this, then the collision kernel becomes bounded and everything becomes well. However, Uh, if we do not introduce this assumption, then we have singularity and we have a problem. Uh, but uh, <coughs> uh, there are some uh, uh, works on the non cut off、uh, collision operator.、Okay. A long time ago,、uh, I think uh, uh, Pao is the first who, who considered the non cut off collision operator. 
Uh, and a long time ago, so I uh, consider uh, the uh, non cut of collision operator and uh, tried to construct local solution in Jibre class, classes. Okay. And uh, if we use consider non cut of collision operator, uh, collision operator, then the uh, Okay. Uh, the, uh, here, uh, capital B has a singularity, an integral, an integral singularity here, so that this integral is not well defined unless the function G and F uh, a good function. Okay. Uh, how good should be G and F? Okay. Uh, for example, we write the uh, integrand of the collision operator like this. We decompose uh, the uh, product of function like this. And uh, remem we remember that B, pr B prime and B minus B is just given by this. Okay? And uh, B prime minus, if we, if we take the uh, absolute value of this difference, uh, we have theta here, okay? And this theta uh, appears again if we uh, use this uh, relation to the uh, mean values theorem of the function f, okay, like this. And you see here we have the difference, f b prime minus f b, and uh, uh, if we plug this uh, estimate into this, then this theta cancels the singularity of the capital B, and, and this gives that. So that if two times S is smaller than one, then this becomes integrable, and this integral uh, becomes well-defined, convergent integral. Okay. But in this case, we have a uh, derivative of f. So that capital Q has the form of integral operator. However, uh, if we use this relation, then we have the derivative of f, so that Q behaves like a differential operator. Okay. Mm. Mm. OK. So, uh, OK. Actually, uh, we can say uh, much more about the uh, property of the differential operator, of the collision operator. Actually, the upper bound, and uh, we can have the upper bound and the coercivity estimate of the collision operator. Roughly speaking, we, say, we can say that the collision operator, if uh, the non-cut-off uh, collision cross-section is uh, considered, um, behaves like a Laplacian, fractional power, Laplacian of fractional power like this in the velocity variable B. And moreover, uh, here we have uh, the positive uh, constant. And here we have minus sign. So this is the negative uh, definite operator. The main part, we can say that the main part of the collision operator is almost like the negative definite operator, uh, like this. And this was first uh, pointed out by Lyons. And uh, with, uh, but S is not well uh, understood at that time. And then these four people uh, uh, gave a rough estimate like this. And uh, it is uh, these four people who said the order of the Laplacian, uh, fractional order of Laplacian is just equal to S uh, when we consider uh, non cut of collision operator. S is the uh, order of singularity of the collision operator. This, you remember? Uh, uh, here, it, it, it is appearing here. The same is okay. 
so it depends on the uh, uh, power of the inverse power low potential, P. S is given by this, okay? And this S appears as the fractional, uh, fraction of the Laplacian in B. Okay? And then, uh, uh, how about the lower of the term? This is important. And many people then uh, investigated uh, the uh, Uh, optimal estimate of the uh, collision operator Q. Uh, at this moment, we have the following uh, estimate. Okay, uh, but we consider only modified non-cutoff cross-section. Modified means here we have one. We put, uh, we add one here. In the original uh, inverse power of potential uh, does not give this one, but uh, we need uh, here uh, to, for the technical reason uh, in order to avoid the singularity uh, appearing from uh, the case Z equal to zero. Okay? In order to avoid the singularity at Z equal to zero, uh, at this moment we need this one. So the, uh, it is a big issue to remove this assumption uh, for, for the future work. Anyway, um, uh, we assume this, and uh, we assume the singularity uh, for the collision collection as before, uh, which, uh, with the same singularity as the singularity coming from the inverse power potential law, like this. Okay? Yes, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Okay, the the time is over. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I go qu very quickly. Okay, uh, so uh, we can have the estimate like this, and also we can have the estimate like this. Okay, and uh, uh, this means that uh, here we have two s. The h is sovereign space. That this means that h uh, q is. Uh, 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 should differential operator of order two S, almost like this, and uh, here we have coercivity estimate like this, and uh, here uh, uh, we have the uh, uh, sub elliptic estimate of order uh, S. So uh, we can say that. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, we can say that the col uh, collision operator will must behave like minus the fraction of the uh, power L. Okay? And uh, this is a case when uh, the bottom equation is spatially homogeneous, okay? uh, in which the solution F is independent of, independent of the space variable X. And if we consider the space uh, variable x2, then th this is the Boltzmann equation. And uh, q is almost like the fractional Laplacian like this. So this is a Kolmogorov <coughs> equation. So uh, for both cases, the Boltzmann equation, spe uh, both spatial homogeneous case and spatial in hom uh, oh. it, this is in homogeneous case. <laughs> OK, uh, we can have the uh, Jubilee smoothing effect. And we can use the technique I explained for heat equation and the Kolmogorov equation to, to show that these two Boltzmann uh, equation are smoothing effect too. Okay. So this One. is a both case has been done. Uh, for, for the uh, spatial homogeneous case done, but uh, for this case, no case. But we, we can uh, show the smoothing effect. No, not the smoothing effect. But anyway, we can do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe <laughs> stop. Okay. <laughs>